Hello, this is Markus Wimsmann from MotherGrid. We're an online platform for all uh, aspects concerning event technology. And in this video, I'd like to present you my tiny little studio uh, in which I am producing live streams, talks with people. And yeah, and I just would like to show you around a little bit to get you an idea of what you need to do a, pro a live stream. Okay, so I'll, sh I'll switch the camera over. And this is what I'm seeing when I'm at work. And I will put you through this uh, little setup here. Please don't uh, look at all the rabble in the background. It's time to clean up, I know. Oh, hello. Hello, Max. Nice to have you here. Okay, so um, the heart of the whole thing is this uh, Blackmagic Atom Mini Pro. I used to have a uh, Blackmagic Atom Television HD which I still haven't used, but I put it in a rack and use it for, uh, for jobs when I'm, when I'm going out. I uh, did a lot of live streams for churches uh, due to Corona since March. Mm. And this uh, tiny little Atom Mini Pro serves me very well. The thing is, uh, you, have, uh, you can insert four HDMI inputs. You have, uh, a nice, you have a nice screen where you can see all your parameters. For example, this is new in the ATM Mini Pro uh, compared to the Television HD that you get, have uh, the data rate of your stream. You can see this would be uh, for the cameras. And then you, here you have a media player. And this is usually how people see me when I'm sitting in front of the screen. Yeah, this, uh, hello, uh, where do I have to look now? Yeah, hello, Markus Wundsman from Mothergit, you can imagine. You can uh, take a look at a lot of videos I produced in this studio on the YouTube channel of Mothergrid. And when you arrived at the YouTube channel, please be so kind and leave me an elbow. That would be very nice. So we talked about this. The ATM Mini Pro is the heart, the mixer. Then I have here a, a cheap clock to see what time it is. I recommend that highly because uh, if you have to look on a computer screen or, or elsewhere, if you need to see the time, this is uh, very helpful. But if I think about it now, to be honest, I always uh, look at the clock on my Mac in the upper right. I, I never use this. I realized it now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is uh, the YouTube, the YouTube uh, uh, video page where I can see all my videos. And I put on that because I had the idea that I can, while uh, live streaming, I can, can see myself and go here to live streams. And yeah, okay, and I can watch that now on YouTube. And then, okay, looks good. Oh, and as I see, the, the chat, if you want to, you can ask me questions. I can see that now here in the screen. If you have any questions con concerning the equipment or so, whatever, uh, drop me a line, ask a question, but please, for after giving me a thumb up or also a thumb down if you don't like it, which I don't hope. Um, okay, so we have the Atom Mini Pro. This is a, a very regular office uh, monitor. I often think about getting something better, but it, it fits my needs and so there's no need to change it right now. Um, I have, as a microphone, I use a Rode, uh, is it, it's not a Procaster, it's a Broadcaster. I think it's the, the older version. You can put up the, the foam. Oh, just a second. So that you can get an idea. Yeah. It's a condenser mic, which needs phantom power. And I can say nothing negative about this microphone. I'm doing this live stream, by the way, with a, Zen, with a Sennheiser clip mic, which is very nice for doing live streams with your mobile phone. Unfortunately, it's not produced anymore. So, uh, the Rode Broadcaster goes into this tiny little console. It's an Allen Heath Set 10. I must say, if I uh, could choose uh, the console again, I would, uh, I would go for the Set 10 FX, because uh, then I would have the possibility put uh, some tiny effects in, but this works. I have a DBX compressor 166XL to do some compression and to, to uh, 
make the sound a little bit better. But to be honest, I do not uh, put too much effort in it. In this, I think it works. And yeah, it fits my needs. Then I here I have a laptop mm, uh, where I run uh, Playdeck. It's a, a software you could do also streams with, uh, but I uh, mostly use it uh, to to play videos inside my live streams. I use it for the intro, the outro. If I have any videos in between, I uh, use Playdeck to do this. And in addition, I have here an Elgato Stream Deck to, um, to, for, to remote control the laptop. I can show you this. For example, if I press button four, you can see here, this is the outro and this is played via Playdeck and remote controlled with the, with the Elgato Stream Deck, which is really a very, very helpful thing. Here you have the intro, for example. Yes. Okay, Playdeck Play software by Joy Event Media. If you have any questions, I should uh, add the links afterwards, but this was a quite spontaneous idea to do this live stream, so I will uh, add this, add all this information afterwards in the text. This is my camera I use for the live streams. It's a Panasonic uh, X, oh, what is it? X, ah, HCX1000. I also use uh, the bigger sister, the HCX1. Mm. I can also, it works fine. It's, it's not so big as, uh, as a bigger sister, but I also did live streams with the Canon XA10, um, which is a, a 10 year old camera, also works fine. So, but for live streams, you don't have to have uh, a that perfect picture. Yeah. Okay. This is then the Mac, the MacBook. Um, I use it for uh, setting up the streams. This is the first thing here I have. Uh, Maybe I can show you that too, but if you do live streams on YouTube, you will know how this looks. If you um, start a stream there, I don't dare to do that now, but I think it's not that important. So this is for uh, setting up the stream. And also I have uh, the control surface for the ATEM software control here. Here I con can control everything, uh, switching the pictures. I can adjust the media player. I have pellets and yeah, but once set up, you could also use it without the laptop. You could use only the Atom Mini Pro. Um, this would also work. So, and on the right side, I have another laptop, which I use uh, for my studio guests. There are two possibilities. I have Zoom available and Skype. And also here I use a, an Elgato Stream Deck for re remote controlling Skype or Zoom. And this is really very, very helpful. I used to do that without, uh, without the Stream Deck and had the mouse and the, and the cursor. And this was always a pain in the arm um, to do that. And the Elgato Stream Deck is very helpful. I, mean, I, I can try to... Uh, yeah, I don't know if you see this. No, you didn't. Yeah, this is because it's a touch screen main. It's not very useful, but I have, oh yeah, I have different, I have different profiles for Skype, for Zoom, for YouTube, to, uh, to remote control different needs. Because I also used to use this uh, laptop for uh, playing videos in streams and via YouTube and yeah. I can't repeat it often enough, the Stream Deck, a very helpful thing. So, okay, did I forget anything? Or do you have any questions so far? Um, no, as I can see. Yeah, what else can I say? Um, yeah, let's take a look at the, at the lighting, a very important point. I have, in total, I have four lighting sources. Let's start with the cheap ones. These are uh, newer LED 
LED, uh, LED uh, panels. Panels. Uh, I bought from Amazon for I don't know it's about 50 or 60 euros. You can you can adjust the the color of of the lighting from warm to to cold. Mm. It fits my needs absolutely. I just wanted to try it out. I can say nothing negative against it. You shouldn't carry it around too much because I think this would cause them to break someday. But so far, this is uh, absolutely no problem for me. And for lighting the, the green screen, which I'm sitting in front of, I use some Elation TVL Softlight DW, which I can also only recommend. I mean, they're also, you can adjust the, the color, or you can adjust the temperature of the color. Um, they are very powerful. They're lighting the whole screen. Oh, you know, the cable, excuse me. For two of them is enough, and yes. Okay, um, I use a, a, a usual internet connection. If I am on the road and do some jobs, I have a, a Geiger Cube, which is how, how I call it, or how it's called. It's called a Geiger Cube. Sorry, it's been a long day so far. And if you have some more interest in getting more details about the technical setup of my studio or anything else, um, yeah, get in touch with me. Give me an abonnement. I would be very happy about a thumb up. Now I have three so far. Could be, mm, mm, will we reach 10 while the stream is on? Or now if you have some comments or questions, also after the stream, this video will be available, of course, afterwards too. Yeah, get in touch. You can reach me on social media at mothergrid.de. Drop me a line there. Give me a comment in the video. Yeah, and let's see what happens. I say thank you for watching and see you next time.